maybe, I don't know. Um, if I had a time machine, I Okay, and welcome back. Uh, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to mount the vise on this wall here. I've got two supporting studs uh, driven down into the concrete for uh, this wall. So this is really sturdy here and then I, uh, I apparently shot screws up here for this. So that's good for support. Um, the mount is going to go on this door here on this wall here and then the weight's going to be distributed on these two two by fours which should be fine it's a smaller vice thank you all for watching uh if you didn't see my other vice video i'll put a link in the description below um also any any of the purchases from the links below really help me out so because I, i'm trying to get this this done but i, I will say this um if i had a time machine i would uh, i would go back in time you know, a lot of people would go to a lot of historic events. I want to be here when this garage was built by the drunk farmers that constructed this garage out of just whatever wood that they could get. And then uh, I just want to see what was going through their, their minds when they built this. But, uh, yeah, so we'll get this uh, vice mounted on the wall here, and we'll go from there. Okay, and if you missed the other video, we are going to be using... A two inch receiver mount off of a Dodge Ram pickup truck here. Now, that, what this is, is this is the actual mount that goes on the front of a pickup truck. So you can hook up uh, vices, pulling hooks, trailer mounts, just about anything that you want um, toward the front of the pickup truck. You can actually purchase this from the links below, I suggest purchasing from the links below through Amazon so you so you get the right one if you want to build this um, and the purchase really helps me out so and this is the other this is a vice mount that is a straightforward non adjustable mount here um, and we're going to be mounting my little bitty three and a half inch vice on this which isn't going to take up much room but it is less weight than the five and a half and this is different than the other mounts that I set up on my bench grinder video. Um, I'll go ahead and put those those uh, links below as well. And see, I've got red overspray all over everything from painting that vise. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and mount and figure out where the height is for this, the, the hitch mount. And then we will, I'll probably have to drill two holes into this. And then we'll hook the hitch mount up and then put the vise on it. And then we're pretty much done. So this is going to be pretty straightforward after I put the other bench grinder set up on the other wall here. So, so I'm not 100% sure where I want this mount at with this door. If we just go ahead and uh, slip this in here. I don't think I'm going to shorten this one like I did in my other videos on the uh, adjustable mounts because I'm not going to have this vise out a lot and then I'll just be able to pull, pull it out of the receiver hitch and store it probably in this closet here. So we'll probably leave this the same length as what it's purchased at, but um, I, I'm not 100% sure what this brand was. Uh, I will put the links below for Amazon if you want one of these mounts. They're uh, not very much. I think I'll pick this one up for between $30 and $35.
So it depends on the brand. So I really think I want it about chest height. And with the length of the length of the uh, we'll clear that door. I'm not real gung ho on uh, precise measurements here, so I think we're gonna move it down a little bit. I think we're going to put it down here below. Before we get the hitch mount receiver mount put into the wall, Actually, this length of the, the vise mounts up with the hole, so we're just going to punch our holes basically the same as these. And we're just going to step drill it. in the middle of the steel. If you don't have a set of these step drill bits, I'll put the links below. You, If you run a little shop or whatever, you may really want a set of these. We're actually tapping this hole a little bit larger so we can have a little bit of wiggle room on this. And we're actually going to put a hitch anti-rattle plate on there if it gets if it's too loose.
nailed it. That'll work. And now that we have the wall marked, I've got my handy dandy bubble float uh, just that's got red paint on it from. Dude, this thing wasn't anywhere near that red paint. That overspray goes everywhere. I will not be painting anything in this garage. But what I have is uh, the bubble level, and I'm gonna try to drill one hole first and see if I can secure it to the wall with one hole and tighten it pretty tight and get it level, and then drill my other holes completely through, which I think that's the best way to do it instead of trying to drill four holes and then hoping it's level. So if I drill one, and, and I might drill a hole a little bit bigger, then it'll it'll give me some leeway to adjust the level of the hole. So I'm about level there. So what we're going to do is I am going to mark where I'm going to drill through. And now I'm going to drill, I'm going to drill all the way through. So I've got my one hole drilled and we will put our first bolt in here all the way through the wall here. And I did not compensate the bolts for this 3 8 piece of plywood. Son of a I did not think about that, this 3 8 piece of plywood, because I've only got a little bit of this coming out. But I'll tell you what, if I could get that nut threaded on there, then I'll go ahead and keep this. Otherwise, I'm going to have to go to the store and buy new nuts and new bolts. There's just barely enough thread. Oh my. You know what, by the time I torque that, I'll be able to get that nut. We're gonna have to drill another hole first. I was actually gonna double nut these for the support, but I'm not gonna be able to do that now. Gonna be a lot of weight on one nut, but really don't have no choice here. We'll drill the final hole here, and then tighten it up, see what happens. Well, we're getting ready. 
I find out how far I can get this in there. See if I can pull this, these bolts in a little bit, a little bit more, which I am. Okay. Believe it or not, it stayed level. I may have to uh, counter move the holes a little bit. We're basically making it so the the nuts have a little more room to reach the bolt. As you can see, the other hole did not quite get drilled straight, but now we can get the, the, the nuts on the bolts. Oh, see that? Hopefully I can still get the wrench in there to uh, get these puppies tight. I think that'll do it. I'm going to give these just one more little bit of torque here. They're tight. They're real tight. There we go. Oh man, that thing ain't going nowhere. I could probably put that other vise on that and be okay, but I don't want to put any more weight on that than I have to. And we did pretty good there. I got the bolts in there. I don't believe this thing's going to go anywhere. And I got it level, which that's super cool. So well, I'm actually going to go in with these uh, three inch screws and I'm just going to run five more. I'm going to put two here and then throughout here just for extra support. and hopefully we'll be okay here. It does move a little bit. 
main part of this vice stand will be for uh, cleaning bolts, maybe some torque, some high torque stuff. We're not going to be pushing down or hammering on this. I think we're good. Now what we'll do is we'll get my uh, vice stand on there and make sure we don't get much flex. And now we will just put our vice on here. Maybe, I don't that, that It ain't going nowhere. I thought it was gonna be too much weight, but it's not. I might end up cutting this at a later date. I'll have to see how far I can get this door out to swing. This vice stand actually has a lot of holes drilled in it already. So, I'm not going to have to mess around with that. Actually, need to see what size bolts these are. I will just tighten these nuts up. Just, I'm getting tired of moving everything. I'm just ready. I cannot, I don't even have all my tools over here. It's becoming a nightmare. I, I'm really just all held up over that garage door, man. The, the, the pandemic really have screwed everything up. It took me over a month and a half to get that door in. Ugh. I'll just get these bolts. Tighten up, probably never remove them. Uh. Believe it or not, my mom found this off of, this vice off of Facebook from someone I used to go to school with. And unfortunately, this is exactly why these are uh, my dad's old Caterpillar tools. This, that is exactly why I didn't want to possibly take these because a lot of these 30 year old tools they're good tools but they're all they're wore out and you see me just about round the head off of that so yeah this is a good little vice hey all right I can go all the way around huh that's cool Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, more videos to come. Hopefully the garage will be done here pretty quick, and uh, we'll keep, keep these videos coming out.